Hello everyone, so I am making this video as an update um, to the other videos that I posted about being pregnant in the military and um, in the Air, Air Force specifically. And if you can see my cat is going to be in this video apparently. Um, but I had a couple comments on my last video um, asking me to do an update and just go into, into depth about um, TRICARE and what TRICARE covers and just like my experience in general. Um, so the first thing I have on here is, are you treated differently? Um, yes and no. So I wouldn't say you're treated differently in a bad sense. Um, my situation was kind of different because I had gotten in trouble, like, literally right before I got pregnant. So there was kind of, like, um, a bad stigma around me, if you will. Like, I didn't get, like, reprimanded or anything. Like, they can't punish you for getting pregnant. But since I had already gotten in trouble with the underage drinking thing, um, it was kind of looked at as like, I didn't want to work and that's why I did it, which isn't true, but you know, that has faded since then. Um, but treated differently as in like people at work almost think that I'm like completely inept at like moving at all, which kind of, I don't know. It doesn't really bother me. It's just like, I'll go to like pick something up or like get something for someone and the, oh no like I'll do it and it's like I'm not <laughs> I'm not that inept like I can get up and I can walk and go get it for them it's fine but um you know it's just people being really nice mostly um you're not necessarily treated differently just because you're pregnant you're treated differently because your profile will say like certain things that you can and can't do so um no supervisor or other airman wants to you know, risk breaking your profile and making you do something that you're not supposed to be doing. So, there's that. Um, says, frowned upon. So, um, I had a question ask if the military frowns upon you getting pregnant. Um, the only time that would happen is if somehow you were pregnant in basic training or in tech school. Because those are times when you're not supposed to have any contact with males or anything they won't even let you join the military if you're already pregnant. So, unless you get pregnant during training, when you're specifically, like, not supposed to have contact with males, that's the only time they could, like, get mad about it. But, like, regular, once you're out of training, just being in the military, it's not frowned upon. Um, sorry, I'm, like, I have, like, indigestion and hiccups, and this video is kind of all over the place, but... You know, it is what it is. I'm out here with my iPhone. I don't have a fancy camera. So, just doing my best here. Um, benefits. So, I'm assuming this means, like, TRICARE. Um, like, what my insurance covers. So, if you're in the military, it doesn't matter what branch you have, TRICARE. Which covers, if you're having a baby, literally everything. Like, the only thing they don't cover that I would personally, like, want to have is, like, going to a chiropractor to, like, align your back and stuff, but that's not even, like, considered part of, like, pregnancy care. Um, my base doesn't have an on-base hospital. It's just, like, a little clinic, so I get referred off-base, and I go to a civilian hospital, um, so I'm not really sure what it's like if your base or wherever you're stationed does have a military hospital. I'm sure the care is the same. Um, everybody makes fun of like military doctors and everything, but honestly, like I haven't noticed a huge difference. They usually treat whatever is wrong with me when I do have to go to a military doctor. So I would imagine that they do all the same things they do as a civilian care provider would. Um, I know that when my mom, my mom was also in the military. She was in the Marines. Um, she was pregnant with me. She said that they did not cover a breast pump they do now so all my breast pump supplies and stuff if you're planning to breastfeed is covered for I think it's like a year and you can get a new breast pump for every pregnancy so if you have another baby while you're still in the military you can get a whole new breast pump for your next baby so that's pretty cool and I think she said I get two or like four bottles or breastfeeding bags to put the milk in a month so I can go in and say like hey I need more breastfeeding storage bags and they will give them to me 
free of charge. Um, pros and cons. So, honestly, I really can't think of any cons of being pregnant in the military because if you're going to be pregnant at all, be pregnant in the military. You don't have to pay for literally anything. Like, when I saw how much the hospital would charge, if I was a civilian and didn't have insurance, it's like $5,000 just for delivery. Not counting, like, your doctor's appointments and any of that stuff. So, it's pretty, I mean, you really don't have any, like, things to pay for. With the, like, you just have to pay for all your babies, like, clothing and food and diapers and stuff. But as for medical care, like, my bill is going to be zero at the end of this whole thing. So, um, that's pretty good. Uh, leave. So... I'm pretty sure for all the services, the leave is the same, but I could be wrong because obviously I am not in the Army, Navy, or the Marines. I'm in the Air Force, so the maternity leave is 12 weeks or 3 months. For dads, I know it's only 2 weeks, so it's not as long, which I think is um, unfair, but that's just how the military works. Um... You do get increased BAH and BAS when you have a child in the military. So if you don't, if you're a civilian watching this, that is your basic allowance for housing. So like I get eight forty three a month to pay for my apartment. I'll get like 1100 something once I have my baby. And then... Um, BAS is basic allowance for sustenance, which is food, and I get three sixty, like three sixty nine right now a month, and I think it'll go up to like five something, um, once I have my baby, but you don't get any of those benefits until after your baby's born. So, yeah, that's how that works. I'm trying to think of like other benefits you get from it. Um, depending on what job you have, your experience could be totally different from mine, even if you're in the same branch of the military. Um, you know, it depends on your job. So since I'm a cop and I require a weapon for my job, I can't do my regular job day to day because I can't arm up because I'm pregnant. So they have me working at Supply, which is where we issue up like uniforms and um, gear and stuff. Sorry, I'm like out of breath. Like. It's like my diaphragm is compressing from my baby sitting on it and makes it hard to talk for a long time. But basically, I have like a desk job right now and I will continue to have that job until I come back from my baby leave and probably until I choose to separate from the Air Force because I do not want to go back to my regular job once my breastfeeding time is up. And um, it's just like that's my choice, so... Also with the breastfeeding time, so the the reg used to be, I think it was a year that you get to breastfeed, like your commander had to give you one year to breastfeed your child, but now they change it to six months by commander approval. So really, once you come back from baby leave, which is like three months, they don't have to approve you for another six months of breastfeeding. Um, if you have like an army use of force job like mine, they could say like you're gonna go back to the field and you're gonna arm up right when you come back from baby leave. So it really depends on your leadership and you know how they want to do things. So my experience could be totally different from another person that's security forces at another base or even in another squadron. But um, most of the girls here that are from my squadron and have gotten pregnant said the, the commander like approved their breastfeeding time and it was like not a big deal so um that's my plan right now and then last thing i have in here um is just talking about benefits which i thought i already did that but i don't know this video is so crazy so i'm sorry and it's not well put together but yeah um Benefits, so it's obviously going to be different if you're active duty, guard, and reserve. So active duty, your benefits, your TRICARE, everything is totally covered. Um, I know guard and reserve, 
you don't have like total health care, but I don't know anything about how much you have to pay for your health care or any of that. But it's not going to be 100%. Like, I know you have to pay for some of it. But I think it's still not a bad deal in the end because you end up with a lot less bills than you would if you were just a civilian that had like a regular job. And also, the leave, like, I don't know any other jobs that will pay you to stay home for 12 weeks with your baby. Like, I'm going to get paid this whole time, so... That is probably the best benefit of the whole thing, I'd say. The amount of time you get for maternity leave. But, um, yeah, that's really all I can, like, think of to answer some of those questions. But definitely comment below if you have any more questions or um, give me, like, an idea for a video that you want to see regarding that or, like, really any other video. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching.